What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys on how to successfully connect your Xbox One controller to your PC using the Bluetooth functionality available. Um, as you can see in front of us we have two controllers uh, which are both Xbox One controllers. One of them is red, one of them is white. Now for demonstration purposes I'll be using two controllers here just to run over uh, the features within them and, and to ask which one you'll be able to connect successfully to your PC. Um, the Xbox One Red Controller is the latest controller from Microsoft, uh, which packs a revision version 2. Uh, and the white controller here is, is the previous generation, so it's generation um, 1, let's say version 1, which does not support Bluetooth functionality. Uh, if you look at them physically, they look identical. I mean, there is nothing different between the two controllers. Size-wise, the only difference here is the color uh, preference, of course. Uh, but if you if you even tilt it um, just a slightly to to the inner edge here, you can see that it also packs 3.5 mm uh, audio jack and also the standard uh, Xbox One um, headset port. Uh, now that's the same for the uh, version two. Uh, it does pack the same uh, 3.5 mm uh, input jack for any stereo headset or the Xbox One. Uh, so, I mean, uh, what, what I would say is do not get fooled by, you know, looking at the controller, seeing the 3.5 mm jack input, and, you know, assuming that this is Bluetooth, um, a verified Bluetooth support, uh, supported controller. Uh, the only way to find out is obviously before you buy the controller, uh, you would need to double check the, um, uh, double check the, the description. Uh, or the box itself, uh, if you're buying it physically, you need to make sure that it does have the Bluetooth sim symbol here at the bottom and that it also states Xbox One Windows. So whenever you can see this or the Bluetooth symbol, uh, that then tells you that this controller is actually uh, does actually support Bluetooth functionality, which is what we will be using here and we will be demonstrating. Unfortunately, as for this controller, uh, it doesn't have that functionality. So the only way to connect this, which I've previously done videos on, is by plugging in a micro USB port here at the front and then plugging that directly into your PC and installing the drivers. Now we're going to put that controller aside and our main focus here is on the red controller uh, which we will be demonstrating today. Uh, now there, there are several things that we need in order to get this to work. Uh, first is the controller itself. You want to make sure you have the latest controller which supports Bluetooth. Uh, now, you might not even have to buy this if you have an Xbox One S. So if you have the Xbox One S, it actually comes with the version 2 controllers. You can just you can just directly connect that to your PC. But you need to make sure that your PC, once again, actually supports Bluetooth. So whether that be your laptop, it might come with uh, Bluetooth as standard. If you have a gaming PC, which is what I have here, uh, now the Bluetooth will depend on the type of motherboard that you have. So I have a quite a uh, quite a high-end motherboard within the PC itself. Uh, and it comes with Bluetooth as standard. So the number of things that we need in order to get this controller to be connected via Bluetooth to the PC is the controller itself, the PC uh, which supports Bluetooth functionality, or if it's a laptop, you wanna make sure it also supports Bluetooth functionality. And lastly, uh, what you need is Windows 10. Now this is not backwards compatible with Windows 7 or 8, so if you have any of those operating systems, then there is no need for you to buy this controller and try to connect it to the PC uh, via Bluetooth functionality. Uh, for those, you can buy a dongle. You can get a dongle from uh, Amazon or Game if you're in the uh, in the United Kingdom. If you're uh, in the United States, then Walmart might do one of those. Uh, but you need to you you will need to buy uh, the dongle to get it to connect uh, via wireless connection to the PC on Windows 7 and 8. But for Windows 10, rest assured, it's just the Bluetooth connectivity that we will need. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you on the PC now how this actually works. All right, so over to the PC now. As you can see, I have the PC hooked up to a 4K curved monitor uh, piece, uh, TV. So it's a 4K curved TV and uh, running on Windows 10 from, from what you can see here. And now in order to bring up the Bluetooth functionality on this, if the motherboard supports once again, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and type in here uh, Bluetooth and just simply click on that. So it brings you up with this page right here and it tells you manage Bluetooth devices. So what we have here is the, the Xbox controller already paired. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove this just to show you uh, how quickly uh, does this actually 
uh, connect over to the PC and, and in order to do that, uh, what are the next necessary steps that we need to take. So we have the controller up here uh, on the side as you can see and I'm going to go ahead and power on the controller right now. Um, once it's powered on you can see it's just blinking right now waiting to be uh, waiting to be connected to a PC or an Xbox. Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect this to the PC now but before that what we're going to have to do is click on the sync button just right here. So if you tilt the controller over uh, upside down you'll be able to see uh, the, the sync button right here. So all you need to do is just hold that in for a few seconds and you will see it blinking uh, a lot faster than, than uh, previously. And now you can see that the Xbox One, uh, Xbox wireless controller is ready to pair under Bluetooth. So we're gonna go ahead and click on pair. And now, instantly that's paired. While it's still carrying out uh, the setup within the PC itself, the controller itself is now connected and ready to play. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch this over to uh, Gears of War 4 uh, for demonstration purposes, just to show you guys that the controller actually works via Bluetooth connection to the PC. Um, let's go. So right here you can see we actually have the controller now connected to uh, to the PC and we're on Gears of War 4. So right here um, you can see that I'm moving up and down. The controller uh, is actually working on the screen. I'm going to click on resume. I'm going to move the character around a little bit. I'm going to fire some shots and we're going to aim. Yeah. And there, and there you have it. So it actually, it actually works uh, and is connected to the PC. No cabling here. Um, and the connection is via Bluetooth as well. So I hope, guys, this video has actually helped. If it has helped, please make sure to subscribe. Um, I'll have the links for the controller. Um, uh, I'll have the links for the controller um, within the um, description. So make sure to leave any to check that out if you need to buy a new controller. As I mentioned previously, if you do have an Xbox One X, uh, One S, sorry, uh, you would need to, uh, your controller will actually work by default with the PC, um, if the PC does actually support Bluetooth connection. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if it helped, or if you need any further clarification, uh, and also make sure to subscribe to the channel too. Until next time, peace out.